So this is gonna be a part 2 video to yesterday because I was not expecting this guy to make even more Dokkan hot takes. So I saw him making more hot takes. So I thought, you know what? Let's make a part 2 to this video because he's made quite a few more hot takes and these videos are fun anyway. So I was thinking since you guys are asking for it, let's just do it. So here we are, the first hot take. This Broly ain't that bad. And honestly, I would probably agree. Defensively, he'll get destroyed. But because of the additional super and because of the AoE, he might be decent for ESPR, I guess. And he's definitely decent in the World Tournament. So he's not awful, but he should have been so much better. Realistically, all they had to do was give him 20% damage reduction. If all they did was give him that, this guy would be a phenomenal easy A. But because they did not do that, he sucks in red zone. But maybe in ESPR he'll be decent. I'm not tried him there, but he does have the AoE and the additional super. So I can foresee him being decent there. And then in the World Tournament, he's still one of the better units because of the additional super. So he's decent overall. He's definitely a usable unit, I'll give you that. So do you know what? I actually somewhat agree with that one. He's not that bad. Basically, why? The blue boys. Why? Why? Honestly, this unit is worse than Beastless Gohan. That just shows how much of an L this unit is. The unit, it's, it's, it, to be fair, the unit's decent. It's usable. But considering it's a door confessed LR, they should have been quite a bit better. Because bear in mind, this unit came out in the last worldwide celebration alongside the LR cooler. So you'd think he'd be on their level. But out of the worldwide celebration, out of all the LRs, this was basically the worst unit. So I agree. Once again, that's two for two here. I agree with both of these hot takes. So for this hot take, I think the point that he's making is that a lot of the times when there's a brand new door confessed, like that unit doesn't really get much help. And the most recent example is Kale. So honestly, I mean, I would disagree that this is a constant thing, but it does happen more often than I would like. So I'm in between on this one. So I'll give it to you. I'll let you have that one. LR Physical Cooler, he's still awesome. I think awesome is a strong word. I think he's decent, but I don't think he's awesome. Because it depends what you mean by awesome. If what you mean by awesome, he's like really, really good, I would disagree with that. He's good, and that's all I'll say. So overall, actually, I would say I disagree with this. Simply because he's not that good. He's good, but he's not the best. So I'll give you that. Eh, not really. Let's move on. He's a bit overrated. Oh my days. Oh my days. You can't say that Cooler is awesome and then say Gohan is overrated. Gohan's better than Cooler. If you're saying Cooler is better than Gohan, then you're underrating Gohan. I think Gohan's really good. Maybe some people overrate this unit. Maybe his Easy A was overrated on release, but right now it's definitely not overrated. It's definitely a decent Easy A. The combination of the additionals, the guard, the supers and his transformation and his linkser and his leader skill, he's a great unit. And to say he's overrated right now, I would disagree with that. Maybe on release, but not right now. Probably will be the best aging easy ATUR. I, I, honestly, I would probably have to agree with that. And the main reason is, one of his best partners is Orange Piccolo. And Orange Piccolo is going to age well most likely. And as long as Orange Piccolo ages well, I can foresee this Piccolo also aging well. So honestly, overall, I definitely agree with that. This guy is going to age well just because the Scouter is so OP and then when he transforms, he's got that damage reduction. If we get longer difficult form content, this guy would hugely benefit from that because he stacks defense. So I would definitely actually agree with this. Let's clear up some misunderstandings about this guy. He's still good, I agree. However, he's fallen off a little bit. Mm. To say he's not top 50 is absurd. I agree. To say he's not top 25, this guy is easily top 25. If you say he's not top 25, that's absurd. Honestly, more than likely, he's even close to top 15. The interesting thing with this unit is, if you prioritize this unit, this unit is a top 10 contender. But if you don't prioritize this unit, then I could see why you might say he's fallen off a little bit. Even then he's okay, but overall I could see why you would say he's fallen off. But if you prioritize this unit on your team, he's definitely as good as people say, in my opinion. 
three dodge is overrated now i would disagree with that let me caveat that by saying this personally i don't really give units three dodge but to say it's overrated i can't agree with that simply because having a chance to dodge gives you a chance to survive so just based on that you can't say it's overrated personally i don't do it but i would concede that it's a reasonable thing to do if anything it's the best thing to do i just don't like to do it and I agree, I would prefer to give extra additional or crit. Basically, with this, he's saying that extreme units need more love. This is the furthest thing from a hot take. I agree with it, but to call this a hot take is straight up stupid. I'm sorry to say, I don't want to do my boy like that. He's giving me some free content. But this take is kind of stupid, I'm not going to lie. Because it's just obvious, like it's not a hot take. Because I completely agree with it and no one disagrees with it. If no one disagrees with it, it's not a hot take, it's a cold take. Better than LR Super Saiyan 4s, what's LB? LB? Hey, who the hell is LB? I have no idea what that means. Are you saying he's better than LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta? I have no idea what that means. If you mean the 7 year anniversary unit, you're completely wrong. But if you mean... I don't know, I, I'm, I'm gonna skip that one, I don't know what you mean. What's LLB? LB? I don't know. Anyway. Saddest Dokkan Fest exclusive release in 2022. It's either them or Raditz, and uh, honestly, I could see it either way. So yeah, fair enough. This needs to be a dual Dokkan Fest. This would be really hype. I don't need to say more. Um, depending on how they do it, it could be hype, but it's not really something that I'm asking for. So we'll go past that. I think he has the best art in the game. I mean, his art is pretty sick. Let's be fair. Like that art is pretty nice. Is it the best in the game? I don't know. Maybe. Let's move on. Will be the best aging LR easy is? I mean, yeah, because as, as you're saying here, they'd be good as floaters, so that's probably true. Just because of the dodge, so fair enough. This guy was a mistake. Okay. I mean, he was really good on release, but... Oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. His rates on his initial banner, on global specifically, his rates were lowered. Well, that's the scummiest thing Dorkon has ever done to global. This is the biggest global shaft of all time. This was the first year anniversary unit, and the rates on his banner were lowered on global. Like, what? What? They're basically stealing from you at that point. Like, that's the scummiest thing Dokkan has ever done. Like, that's true. Like, that is objectively scummy. Like, they could be... That's just bad. Like, that was really bad. So I definitely agree with that. But again, it's not a hot take, because anyone would agree that lowering the rates for a unit is disgusting. This guy should never have been released. Okay, so the point you're making is that he's too good, and I agree, he was too good. And to be fair though, I think he's unreleased, like he was good, but he wasn't broken. He aged really well, but unreleased, like people didn't even like the unit, so... I mean, to say he was too good is debatable, but he definitely aged much better than anyone was expecting, so I'll give you that. They need to do more crossovers. I would love a crossover. Give me Zoro. I've seen people on Twitter talking about having Zoro in Dokkan. And I was the first one to say that. I've been saying that for months upon months. Since my comeback on YouTube, I've been saying that. I want Zoro in Dokkan. Before anyone else was saying that. Give me Zoro in Dokkan. I would definitely be hyped for that. Give me a Dokkan Fest exclusive. Roanoa Zoro. They easy aid way too early. Again, you can say that about any unit. And realistically, any unit that easy aid now would be better than a unit that easy aid a year ago. That's just obvious, so I don't really see the point of you saying this. It took red zone power creep to make this Vegito not that good, and before that he was really good is basically the point you're making here, and honestly I agree with that. This is one of my favourite units on release of all time. I loved this unit, it, he was so much fun with the counters and the crits, just really really fun. And then before you transform, he had that damage reduction, he was, it was just a phenomenal unit on release. Very hype, one of the most hype moments in Dokkan. Top 5 at least, it's gotta be, like it's up there. The peak of Dokkan battle. Honestly, I think on these banners, for the 5 year anniversary, I got shafted, so I don't, I didn't really enjoy that celebration. Because if you get shafted, you're probably not gonna enjoy that celebration. And on their banners, I got really shafted. So I didn't really enjoy that celebration. But the good news is, straight after them, we got this guy, and I got quite lucky on his banner, so there you go. It evens out. Jiren and Goku would be an excellent Dokkan Fest exclusive choice. Or, oh, that's a hot take. I, what? That's a hot take. W what? UI Goku for a Dokkan Fest exclusive would, is a hot take. Uh, what? Let's read the whole comment because maybe I'm missing something. It could be the worldwide celebration. 
New Year's. Maybe you wouldn't be hyped for it. What? Who wouldn't be hyped for UI Goku? But you can't deny that it will really do well. Well, yeah, it would do well because it's UI Goku. In UI Goku on LR Tech Jiren hit top grossing, okay? So how is this a hot take? I... What? No, okay, move on. Don't Confess exclusive KL is actually good. Yes and no. Yes, because she has the potential. No, because she has no help. So overall, in the middle. I, I, I'm in the middle. I would actually, I would disagree. It's hard to disagree with that because it is a good unit. So I can't really disagree with it. But she just needs that help. And when she gets that help, she'll be a phenomenal unit. I'm talking God Goku level. World Tournament has always been the worst game mode. Is that a hot take? What? It's just hours of brainless grinding. Yes. Yeah, and it's gotten worse because of the easy A's because a lot more people are doing it. So the competition has gone way higher. I agree with that. But again, it's not a hot take. I thought this was supposed... Wait, I thought this was... Wait, actually, to be fair, is it a hot take video or is it just a take video? Ah, uh, actually, I take it back. Okay, that's my bad. It's not hot takes. It's just takes. Okay, fair enough. My bad. I've been caught lacking here. Fair enough. It's not hot takes. It's just takes. Okay, do you know what? I apologize. I apologize for everything that I've said. My boy, what you call Jogun Supremacy? My bad. I'm sorry. Chain Battle is a good game mode. Uh, not really. Move on. Extreme Class. It's not as bad as people say, but it's not good. Like To, to call it good is, is just wrong. To say it's not as bad as people say, fair enough. But to say it's it's good, I don't know if I agree with that. Actually, I know that I don't agree with that. Actually, I will say that Patan Battle, I hate way more than this. I hate Patan Battle. But for me, the worst mod is World Tournament. After that, it's Patan Battle, and then it's this. Honestly, with Patan Battle, just give us better rewards, and then it's more worth it. Give us more stones or something. Tickets for a banner or anything. Extreme Class Dragon Ball Hero could have been a good team. Could have, would have, should have. It wasn't, so there you go. I mean, to be fair, this guy was decent, but yeah, it's, it's not a good team. A prime example of a Dragon Ball Hero unit done right. To be honest, I have no idea what this unit even does. I'll be honest with you. Maybe he's good, maybe he's not. I'll be honest, I have no idea. And I can't be bothered checking what he does, I'll be honest. Balance is the best way to play the game. Okay, not a full... I mean, this is subjective, so you, you can't really disagree with it. You can have your own opinion, but it's that, that's all it is, an opinion. So you can't really say he's wrong with that. Not full on defense. If that's the way you prefer to play, then that's the right way to play. Whatever you have more fun with. This community could be more open-minded. You'd have more fun with the game. Fair enough. Offense matters too. I agree. I've seen some switch-ups of defensive players becoming comfortable with offense. To be honest, as time goes on, I personally am becoming more open to offense as well, if I'm being honest. Back in the day, I was full on defense. But as time goes on, I'm slowly liking offense a bit more. I will say, I'm still more of a defensive guy, but I'm starting to appreciate the big numbers now, I'll be honest. Best aging free-to-play LR, LR Roshi? I mean, he's got to be up there. I mean, what's his competition? If we really think about it, what's his competition? He's not really got any. Yeah, I don't know, I'll be honest. I mean, yeah, I would probably have to agree with that. You should summon for your personal favourites. I mean, sure, I mean, it's hard to disagree with that. Rather than saving for something. No, you should always save. If that's a unit you really, really want, sure, go for it. But for the most part, you should be saving your stones. I disagree with this. You should be saving your stones. And just because a YouTuber said so, I'm sorry. There are times where it's just wrong to summon. A lot of YouTubers say, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not gonna please don't attack me i'm not going to tell you what to do no 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 i'm gonna tell you what to do do not summon on these trashy banners don't summon for super 17 i'm sorry to say do not be summoning on those banners it's terrible don't even summon for kale do not even summon for to be fair kale does have kid goku so if there is discounts kale's banner could be worth it but for the most part you gotta be skipping these banners stop playing him cook fair enough fair enough okay do you know what we'll end it with that we've covered all of his hot takes Let's do a quick subscriber challenge. If you guys agree with me that certain banners are just more skips no matter what, then you have to subscribe because that is the challenge. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then do subscribe, especially if you just failed that challenge because that is the challenge. Also, do leave a like and comment because those things do help out. With that said, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.